Hi everyone, I'm Sam Moman from the European Galaxy team Freiburg in Germany. In this video, we will be focusing on visualization of RNA sacrosis with Volcano Plot using Galaxy. The objective of this tutorial is creation of a Volcano Plot of RNA-seq data to visualize significant genes. Before jumping into the hands-on analysis, let us understand what Volcano Plots are. Volcano plots are widely used in omics experiments such as RNA-seq to help researchers quickly identify biological significant genes based on their expression patterns. It essentially is a specialized scattered plot which graphically represents two key metrics, the statistical significance of p-value and the magnitude of change or fold change in context of gene expression. This allows researchers to easily pinpoint the most important genes, those that exhibit both the large fold changes and high statistical significance. As you can see in the adjoining figure, on a volcano plot, the x-axis represents the fold change in gene expression. Genes that are upregulated or more active are displayed to the right, while downregulated or less active genes are shown to the left. The y-axis on the other hand represents statistical significance. Genes with higher significance are always positioned towards the top. For this tutorial, we'll be using a dataset from a study conducted by Fu et al. in 2015. This study analyzed gene expression in basal and luminal cells of the mammary glands of moise during different physiological states. We'll be using a differentially expressed result files to generate our Volcano plot. This file was created using the Lima Womb, but similar results can be obtained using other tools like HR or DSEC2. So without further ado, let's begin exploring the data and see how we can use Volcano plots to gain insight into gene expression during these key stages of mammary gland development. First coming to the inputs, as mentioned earlier, we would require two files for this analysis. First, differentially expressed result file. Ideally, this file consists of genes in each row and four required columns consisting of raw p-values, adjusted p-values, log fold change and gene levels. The second file which we would be requiring is the file consisting of gene of interest. Once we have these two files, we will now proceed further with importing this file into Galaxy to perform our visualization of RNA-seq data. To do so, first we will create a new history, rename it and import the data into this history. Now we are renaming the history and we click the save button. Next, we will upload these two files into this history. To do so, we would import this file using the two given links. We will copy these links. These files are currently present on a remote server or in Zenodo. Once we copy this, we would click on the upload button. Once we click on the upload button, we will click on the paste and fetch data and we will paste the links here. An important thing to note here is we have to select the type of this file as tabular to avoid any further error in our analysis. Once we have done this, we click on the button start and then the files are imported into our history. This might take a bit of time. Once these files are uploaded into our history, we will proceed further with our downstream steps. As you can see now, these files have been successfully imported to our Galaxy history. Before going forward, we will first inspect our imported file. Let's first go to the Lima Womb file generated from the Lima Womb pipeline. In this, we can see we have the required columns, the gene names, the log fold change, average gene expression, p-value and adjusted p-value. That means the file is perfect to proceed with visualization on a volcano plot. This tutorial has been divided into three sections depending upon different criteria and parameters of plotting RNA-seq data onto volcano plots. To get started first, we will plot 
the Vulcan or data on the Volcano plot to highlight the significant genes. To do so, first we select the Volcano plot tool from the toolbox to the left. As you can see here we have our Volcano plot tool. We click on this tool which gives us all the required parameters which this tool requires for creating a Volcano plot. First we have to specify the input file. In this case we have to specify the DE differentially express gene results from the Lima boom. So we click to the Lima boom file. Next we have to assign the column names and to their respective column labels. For example the FTR column in this sheet corresponds to column 8 whereas P value P value corresponds to column 7 and so on. So we have to go on assigning these columns respectively to their column numbers. So let's start with this. Next we have to also specify the significance threshold and log fold change threshold to color. As per the study, the significance threshold for this uh, for this paper was specified as 0.01 but could also vary depending upon your research question or analysis criteria. Next, we also have to specify the log fold change threshold. So the log fold threshold values we change from 0.0, .0 to 0.58 here as per the tutorial and further proceed with running of this tool. To run the tool with the given parameters, you have to scroll down and click on the run tool button. This will trigger the tool to run with the specified parameters. Once the tool has been run successfully, the grey icon here will turn into green. This might take a few minutes to turn, to turn into green. As you can now see, our Volcano plot has been completed and let's now inspect it by clicking on the display button. So this is the volcano plot based on our specified data. In this plot, the genes are colored if they pass the specified threshold for the FTR and log fold change. The red color is denoted if the genes are upregulated, whereas the blue color denotes if the genes are downregulated. Based on this volcano plot, you can clearly see that there are many of significant genes in this data set. This completes our first section. Now let's go on to the next section of this tutorial which is labeling of top 10 significant genes onto the volcano plot. You can choose to show the labels of top 10 highly significant genes here based on those who have passed the FTR and log fold change and smallest p values. So to do this you have to just click the rerun button and point select significant in the point to label button and specify the number of labels or genes you want to highlight on your volcano plot. So let's do this here. So this is our tool which was used to create the volcano plot. So all you have to do is click on this run job again which shows you all the tool parameters which you have specified in the present run. Next we have to just change the points to label to significant and we have to specify how many significant genes or genes label you have to visualize on the volcano plot. In this case we would choose to specify 10 highly significant genes to be visualized on the volcano plot. Now we'll again go click on the run tool button and wait for this job to get completed to see our updated results with the top 10 gene labels on our volcano plot. As you can see now the tool has completed and the volcano plot has been produced with the top 10 significant genes. Let's visualize this by clicking on the I button. As you can see here we have plotted our top 10 significant genes onto the same volcano plot as like before, the blue dots represent the genes that are downregulated and the red dot denotes the top 10 significant genes that are upregulated. In this way, you can plot the 
significant genes along with the genes labeled onto the volcano plot. This completes our section 2 and now we will proceed to the last and final section of this tutorial. Let's now move to the last and final section of this tutorial where we will create volcano plot and label only those genes that of our interest. To do so, we have a list of genes into our five new map volcano genes. So we will use this list and label our genes onto our volcano plot. This enables us to visualize which the gene of our interest are in terms of significance and compare it with other genes onto our volcano plot. So let's proceed with doing this. So to do this, we will click on the rerun button of the volcano plot tool and scroll down to the points to label. In this parameter we will select points to label as an input from file. As we have our list of significant genes into volcano genes file, we will select the volcano genes file here for our labels. Next in the plotting options, we will select the label boxes to yes and proceed with the running of the tool. Let's wait until this completes and then we can visualize our volcano plot with list of significant genes of our interest. This is now complete and let's see the results of our volcano plot. As you can see here, the genes have been labeled according to our genes of interest holding some statistical significance. Similar to our previous plot, the blue dot represents the genes that are down-regulated and the red dots represent the genes that are up-regulated. With this, we have completed our last and final section of this tutorial and in this tutorial we have seen how we can plot volcano plot from our RNSEC data and use it to quickly visualize significant genes. I hope you liked and understood this video and see you in the next video. Happy learning!